One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's Tom Lizzo here. Uh, what a day, guys. I mean, you know, crazy, crazy day. I hope you all... Uh, you know, now uh, AMC, the first red day. Um, the action was, uh, the call was spot on from Alex today since uh, uh, since uh, pre-market. Uh, and uh, I, I was trading it like uh, from 4 a.m. or something like today. Uh, just like insane day, guys. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, the day like today, uh, you know, it's uh, what we uh, all work so hard for. I mean, you know, uh, there are days that uh, we doubt uh, ourselves uh, about this job. Uh, see if you, you know, if we, uh, we could do it, uh, you know, for a living. And uh, there are days like uh, today, right? I mean, you know, just make, you know, everything is just so worth it. All the efforts, all the sleepless night, and uh, all the sacrifices that uh, we make, uh, you know, to uh, to be able to do this and uh, you know this is one of the day it makes it you know everything is just so worth it so yeah so uh, before I go on on, on a recap today uh, on that trade um, yeah um, you know I've been uh, getting a lot of DMs from the members that they didn't take uh, advantage of it uh, you know uh, as as well as they thought, you know, some of it might be red, some of it might be, you know, break even and all that. I mean, guys, you know, there's not much you can do, right? I mean, you know, uh, it happens, uh, right? Uh, if, you know, um, this is like your first sector or like this is like the first type of first red day trade that you took. I mean, you know, the, the FOMO on this one today was like incredible, okay? Even, you know, for myself, I think for a lot of guys as well. As you see, people nailing, you know, left and right. I mean, of course, you're gonna have FOMO, right? Uh, you know, uh, like if you were late today, I mean, you saw me, myself, Alex, James banking in the pre-market. Yes, you're gonna have FOMO, okay? But <coughs> sorry, but uh, I mean, if you miss the boat, uh, you know, there's not much you can do, okay? And uh, you just have to be patient and waiting for the right you know entry to get in uh you know but uh by forcing it it's it's just not gonna make it you know uh anything easier i mean uh you know and uh it's uh it's you know frustrating sometimes i know uh and uh for, for myself as well you know today this morning uh uh, trade zero was super super laggy and uh you know the platform i i, I couldn't do shit okay and uh, i left a ton on the table um uh, not like on the table and you know I, I wanted to short some uh but i couldn't you know um put in an order because the platform was you know completely you know frozen and i, I couldn't do anything right so uh so same thing pretty much same thing if you were late and you you missed the actions uh yeah, I mean, you know, the only way for you to be able to make money um, is uh, to stay patient and just wait for the right moment to get in instead of, you know, having FOMO seeing us banking and, and you just want to get in, uh, you know, part of that move. <coughs> also, you know, uh, you've seen uh, us talking about the first red day, like today's the big day, today's the big opportunity, you need to size up and, you know, but if you... If your timing is off, you're gonna lose a lot more than normal, guys. So, so this is a uh, very key point. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's get on to this. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the chart here. My executions. Uh, I post it in the main chat. Uh, uh, so if you have time, you can you know uh, go over and look at that uh, in more you know it closer a little bit uh but uh i just want to kind of point out something here uh so i basically i just want to kind of go over this trade uh so uh you know and also talking about 
the thesis or the, the idea behind it so uh, that you can understand uh, you know better so uh, yeah first trade for me was in the pre-market uh, you know around like 4 a.m. 4.45 something like that and uh, the reason why I took this trade I mean you know it wasn't much size I mean it's just like uh, you know not starter because for long I think uh, the only way you can do it is in, you know by one bullet and you know it's just get in and you know just pick the risk uh, so I was <coughs> uh, let me bring up the chart here getting to this kind of point yeah so it was right here as you can see uh, this one it was right here and uh, put it here so you can see better uh, so I, I long some right here I was basically you know uh, was longing off uh, uh, this one 71 uh, so uh, I was risking basically like uh, you know pretty much like 70 bucks uh, so like a dollar uh, for me a uh, lot I was ri risking on the long side I mean for me the thesis behind it is, is that the stock uh, kind of uh, get uh, like top up uh, top out here at 72 point something and then uh, trying to break after hours but couldn't right and you know I was ex expecting for this either a gap down or gap up next morning so instead of just putting out you know choppy actions like this and uh, right in the morning for 5 a.m. it was grinding higher you see that move uh, let me draw that here this is what really gets me interested in longing the stock okay uh, so I'm not sure if you can trade for at 4 a.m. but uh, you know uh, it was like a slowly grinding like this uh, in the pre-market and it was nearing the height of day right like this was the top and you know my thought on it was I think it broke here a few cents here and then you know kind of uh, a wash uh, but then you know my thought on this I mean it, like grinding higher like this I mean the risk reward here is just so good I mean yes you could you could say that this is a long potential long breakout or whatever uh, but you know the like the only thing I care about is my risk okay I'm gonna get in here 71 I'm gonna risk like a dollar to make I don't know maybe five six bucks right that's five to one six to one average you know like profit ratio so to me that's a good risk reward even though you know I could be wrong but that's fine right so hey guys my name is Tosh Bradley I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in MIC MIC in general Text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. The stock was grinding higher, so I entered right here. I entered right here, and um, my goal was to break this high. And then I'm gonna selling into that pops into that high, right? So as the stocks is you know going higher, I sold some here, sold some here, and I left uh, you know another order maybe 80. But then when it's kind of put out top here at 77, right here, and then uh, you know it kind of rejects, uh, pops back. Uh, you know I, I just want to you know get out some of it, and I said okay, so either it's gonna pop back into this and it's gonna make a new high right so uh, my last bullet would be probably would be 80 82 84 something like that but instead right after that so a big rejection so like not really big but after that it just got rejects this one right rejects it I think this is three minutes cannot see that well Uh, where was I? Yeah, 
yeah as you can see like this one after it right you know when try to break this high and then you know stuff right here so after this move I just want to get out because you know that's clearly it's not gonna break this high you know if it wants to it should have you know uh, you know grinding higher and 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 breaks above this but instead it put it out rejections like this so I just got out and uh, I pretty much just waited because it was pretty early into the day uh, and uh, uh, you know there's there's really not much uh, that that you know I was interested in uh, so I kind of pass uh, past that uh, so coming into you know my short trade is after this one okay so I kind of waited waited for a little bit let me pull up here so as you can see I saw everything here pops back and I kind of waited waited a little bit here right I just waited you know there's like for me at this point there's no man's land right there's really not much I can do uh, let's see how it's, it's gonna react so you know dips at view app got saved here grinding higher grinding higher you know chances are after this yeah I was thinking okay so let's see if it's uh, you know going to break this 77.3 so uh, but after that huge rejections you know this this was the key because it was grinding high I was expecting for it to crack this high and then this high right but instead of it's like huge rejects 75 to all the way to like uh, 76 to 74 something like that yeah so uh, after that rejections I waited a little bit to see if it's if, if, if uh, that was a trap or not right dips back pops back here okay let me see let's see if it's gonna break this one and trapping probably going higher right but right after this one when trying to test this high rejects again so you know something is telling me that this is uh, you know how like at that point I wasn't thinking about first red day at all okay I wasn't thinking about first red day at all my goal was pretty much like you know to trade this pre-market uh, you know just uh, you know ba basically the scalp idea right so I got in here with you know with one thing in mind that I want to be risking over this 75 this 75 and this this candle uh, so I shorted back into this 7 uh, 74 57 or something and I was literally li risking 50 cents on this on this candle that's you know that's the candle right there that's all I'm, I'm I was gonna risk I mean so my stop was really tight and you know as you know uh, for scalping uh, I try to you know just get in uh, with one or two bullets you know I'm, I'm not uh, you know this is not like uh, the full size but it's it's not really a starter uh, you know but it, it was okay okay it's like you know small size for me uh, but you know just uh, to be comfortable with uh, trading pre-market and, 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 and all that so um, short of, uh, back to pop here risking over this high and then my goal was you know pretty much like to cover down here but then what happens is that after this one like it's just crack and I think Alex put it you know someone put it in, in the main chat uh, that AMC did uh, like ATM like for 11 million shares or something okay so right after I got in here like guys uh, you know like my plan was you know just to scalp it right you know with whatever size uh, I'm having and then I saw the ATM and then I said to myself okay now like the thesis is just really you know off for me you know for scalping because because if you look at that move it went from like 74 75 let's say and cracks all the way down to this 69 and said you know this huge support area high height of day you know got you know pretty much 
taken here, right? It's broken. And I said, you know, right. So this is like pretty much like the first sign of blood, you know, <clears throat> regarding this AMC. And 68 to 62, which is the, which is the 62.55 something, uh, which is, you know, the red to green line, right? And right after this wash, you know, my mind switched off completely to a different kind of setup. I said, all oh, right, so this is not a scout for me. This, this is it, okay? This might be it. This might be the first red day that what we're looking for, we're waiting for for the last couple of days now. This could be it, you know, the catalyst, uh, you know, like the Twitter, I mean, you know, the ATM, maybe that was it, right? Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.